All done. Done. What now? Now we... Still alive and kicking, are you? Uh, kinda. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Uh, yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Uh, fine. I'll check it out for my rounds. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Shut up for two days. Oh shit, he's gotta come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough, go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. I still gotta find the, the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all his body is pointing at. Blood is pointing at. Oh no. Go before he knows we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. Should, there should be a corpse below then. Uh, you get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Uh, let's mop it up. No, okay. We're good. <laughs> Lick it clean. Get the mop, you dumb, you dumb bastard. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. <laughs> Gotta say, so far the, the humor is spot on. I love it. Get the mop. Nope, that's our parents' bed. Got the mop. Let's get mopping. <laughs> Actually, the one's coming. I shall return. Post haste. Hi! Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, look, there's our sacrifice. Oh, shoot! Sadly, the warden soon calls over his body. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm gonna let you try again. Oh! Okay. Warden's coming. Uh, okay. Huh? Listen, this isn't it. Okay, uh. Okay, so I can't leave? Can I just... Hide in the freezer? Hide in here? Hide in here? Uh, hide in the trash bags? Hide, uh, in the bathroom? No. Okay. I guess hide in the closet. Yeah, there you go, you hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anyone home? Oh great, not suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Kill him! Yes! A body has been discovered! Uh. Hmm. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault? Come on then, Lily. Let's go play. Hey, I thought I got caught there. It did. It happens to the best of us. I mean, that's our sacrifice. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yeah. I was a little surprised there, haha. <laughs> so where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Actually, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. Alright. Oh, looky here. Got a key to room 405. Uh, like, do we still want to perform the ritual or something? Can we just leave? At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we are on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating the other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? 
My point is that no matter what happens beyond the store, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once the sky's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I... okay. So you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again. Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities. Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. The sexual tension between these two, two is just mind-boggling. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? Hmm. It's... I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about our mom and dad. Or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to her back me. Would be quite the feat to throw something up so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha. <laughs> But it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Hmm, <laughs> sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. Haha. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. Hmm. Is there anything else? Can, can I still not go into the bathroom? No. Still dead? Hmm. Can I not at least have like a little snack before we go out into the big old open world? Like a little snack? No? Okay. This one's still lo uh, locked, I assume? Yeah. Let's check it out. I love our doormat, by the way. This is all it took to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ah, whatever. What's the slip of paper say? The paper still taped on the door says... Uh... Two times AB. So, blood type? What's supposed to be? Don't know. Don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. I unblocked the door. Nice. What's that say? Normal door says uh, one times O, but it's crossed over. Okay, guy's probably dead. Normal door is uh, two times A, one times B. Now that door is open. There's a key. Got a key to room 302. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Didn't the other warden have one? Let's shoot the guy. Nah, he only had a key to the coldest room in the walkie-talkie. Huh. I think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep uh, curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. Hmm. I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. Well, do I have like an inventory or something? Save here, probably a good idea. Items, yeah, there we go. 
Mm, got a balcony key, batteries, she'll use later. Key to the next door called this apartment. Okay. Anything in the fridge? No, the fridge reads. Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's uh, someone important, okay? And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. <laughs> yeah. Half eaten cup of noodles. It's a toilet, there's nothing of interest inside. Okay. Let's see what's in here then. Nothing? Didn't we get the key for that? Elevator's out of order, because of course it is. Okay. Go to the third floor. What do we have here? Not door reads uh, one times A, but it's crossed over, probably also dead. Which is full of full of food. Oh, there's someone here! Hi! Hey, 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 hold up, don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found a key and I thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong, get lost. Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want to? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait, they actually bring you food? Of course, literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Oh, so she's like a special type. Like, bend over and open wide nicely? <laughs> Ashley! Fuck you, get out, both of you. No, I don't think I will. Let me first uh, check out something more. But there dishes. Hey, did I give my person to go in there? I mean... Talk again, leave before I make a scene. Do it, I dare you. No, okay. I guess not. What type was she? Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? I guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Mm, whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ah, so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Um, okay. If we can get this woman up the cultist's room, we've got just a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fine to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. So what blood, blood types does she have? Okay, apparently can't read it. Northern door, two times B. Okay, nothing here, so I guess we just go back up to the fourth floor. And continue the ritual. Let's fade it out. You double check if this warden also had a gun tucked away somewhere. All we find is a walkie talkie. Useless. I don't know, at least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out of us for us. Big deal. At that point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat a soul? That's not a bad idea actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Ah, uh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. Got a walkie-talkie. Well, while you're at it, I'll read ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Checking the guidebook. Let me think. Okay. <sighs> First need a sip. Remember to stay hydrated, kids. Mm. Delicious. So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor of blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Okay, let's get some blood from this guy. You dip your ditches in one of the warden's wounds. Nice. Got blood. <laughs> Let me check that out. Doesn't say anything, okay. Yep, <laughs> just, just blood, okay.
I have an idea. Oh. Let's ask the lady from downstairs, lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And uh, how are we going to make her do that? You know how. Ha, huh, alright, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is already on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay. I mean, this whole plan is just doomed to fail. Yo, what's up? You two again? Sorry, sorry, there's one last thing we've got to ask you. Wait, I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me! <laughs> oh, crap. What's going to happen now is that you'll uh, coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friends are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? Quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> Was it room 405? I guess that widow really croaked. Um? <laughs> Nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good, let's go. Uh, I'll let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it, I'll keep it quiet until it's done. Mm. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Lately, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got a lighter. Ah, nice. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. Let's light them candles. And put on some tunes. So now what am I supposed to... Oh, I summoned him too early. Ah, something's here. Who are you? I can't see. You're asking me my name, human. Uh... What do you offer? Uh, yikes, did I mess up? <laughs> I don't want to pay for its name. Uh... I messed up. Okay. Oh no, there he is. I'm here. Kinda dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on, that's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, uh, him! I offer him! What the... Ah! So, uh, well, how is it? Human with our colored soul, I give you this. Got unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. That's it? Really? Yeah, the tears left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. I just did whatever I wanted. And definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in this demon's pocket. But no matter, the warden is dead. And if I have even one uh, clairvoyant dream, it'll be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a viscous pitch black mass. Yeah, I'd, I just killed a dude for a dream catcher. Guess you already knew that. Take his gun. T Key to the second floor and a gun. Nice. At last, time to shoot Andy. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll probably shoot later though. In that case, uh, save. Yo, what's up? Andy? What did you do? Sadly, your plans of spl splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Ah, uh, why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. 
Oh, interesting. I do want to take your chance with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady's dead right now? I guess she said no. <laughs> Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot, shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's what's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! Hmm. Blow it out of your ass, I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up! I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you uh, back the fuck off my love... My love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Uh, bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. Ha! And I bet you'd love it if I killed him, uh, if I killed myself then. Where did that come from? I... Fuck. What a prime example of your... You, just you. Haha, <laughs> you know. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can just for you. You know, I have just a thing for that. Back at your back and call just like it was uh, way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. Never once made you do anything, but it's always I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see? If you'd have listened to what I said, you know I... Why didn't you want to spend time with me anymore? After nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then, why aren't we friends anymore? Yeah, of course we are, just... Uh, forget this, can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you all about to say? Stay then, I'm going. Oh no you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. Oh, she's bad shit and crazy, crazy, insane. I was gonna say crazy and insane, so it kind of came out weird. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You made me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock... Oh, fuck. Lock person in that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. Ha ha ha. Cry yourself to sleep. To that Andy, my poor Andy. Jesus fuck, she's absolutely unhinged. What the heck? But I called that she died. So that just came out of your mouth. Haha, <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me! Me! You backpaddling fucker brother, you chose me. You did, you did. Ugh. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it, haha. <laughs> you won't. You can't, cuz I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. 
I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like... Person did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw an outfit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said. There are sleeping pills for that. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Hmm. I don't give a shit about person. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? I mean, that's some long-lasting trauma right there. As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Ha, huh, that's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Laylee like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She, she better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense, I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor, and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Haha, <laughs> maybe later. Haha. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. He's just a tall nutcase. Yeah, life.